She always wanted to hang out and never stopped texting me, ever. She would always say, I have a chemistry question if she wanted to get a hold of me when we were with someone else. It was never a chemistry question. <laughs> I met in chemistry class my junior year, Brandon's sophomore year. Um, it sounds really cheesy because everyone's always like, oh, chemistry class. We were kind of lab partners that made it difficult, sitting at the same table. Always goofing off. Yeah, and actually that's how we exchanged numbers was in chemistry class. I've never given a guy my number before, but then I had like a dirty joke and so I asked Brandon for his phone number so I could send it. And then, I don't know, we just never stopped texting after that point. I thought he was a nerd because he was the youngest one in the class, because he's a grade younger than me, so I knew that he was too smart to be in a class with a bunch of juniors. Um, but, and he was quiet, he was like shy. He, was not my type, to be honest, like, at that point, but getting to know him changed that. He wore his skinny jeans with his skater shoes and his, yeah, he was a No, you weren't But Emily and I are like, uh, I guess in a sense that uh, we both are very hardworking. Um, we like to get things done. We always like trying new things. Um, sometimes it works out, sometimes Sometimes it doesn't, whether we do it again or hate it completely, at least we tried something new. Usually that's just like food with Brandon. Honestly, we can go somewhere and try new restaurants and if he doesn't like it, we're never going back ever. So it's usually food, because Brandon is a picky eater. I'll suggest like a new place and then we'll go and if you find something wrong with it, that's it, it's done. <laughs> I love Walden's. Up there. He hates that I, place. Not a fan of that place at all. I, nothing about it. <laughs> I, do, I just don't like it. There's like, there's literally nothing that, I mean, his food was fine. No, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad. Cooking for Brandon is going to be a challenge the rest of my life, let me just tell you. No, all you got to do is make me a pizza. <laughs> He gets giggly when he drinks wine. <laughs> he, um, he can talk in like funny voices and it'll be completely random and you just can't help but laugh at that. I mean, I think in general he's just quirky, but it's just him, so it's not like anything special or different. I think it's just, you're just quirky. She has, she has way too much stuff. Um, takes up all the counter space, especially in the shower. She has come onto both shelves. <laughs> all of her bottles take up all the room. I have room for not very much. So that's kind of annoying, but she tells me I have to deal with it <laughs> until we get a bigger area to work with, so. not get married while we were in school even though I've been dreaming of my wedding since I was 16 so I was ready to get married like the day we met but that didn't happen uh, so we said you know when we're out of school and we were at that time and everything was kind of just it felt like it was we were ready for the next step basically I kind of was thinking about it for a long time and then randomly one day I uh, texted her dad I went to talk to him about it, and he was all for it, so I uh, went down to the mall. That's where I, when I bought the ring, it happened at the Shedd Aquarium. We uh, did something called a penguin encounter, and you get to meet a penguin, and they bring it out, and you can play with it for a little while. And uh, I had to set it up with them, they put 
her ring inside of a penguin egg. The first guy actually tried to open it and the person says no it doesn't open or anything. So it got to me and uh, it was actually on there pretty good. I couldn't open it. And she said, what are you doing? I said, I'm trying to open it. She's like, she told you not to. It that doesn't open. And I definitely she was hitting it. me, telling me not to. And I finally got it open and then she was, she was surprised. So a pretty good picture of her facial expression. It's probably one of my favorite ones. She got on one knee right next to a penguin. So it was like basically a dream come true, basically. All the guys congratulated him, and all of the girls were pretty jealous. They were, they were pretty hyped up about that. So it seemed like they thought it was cute, I guess, and... He set the bar pretty high. He did. In 10 years, uh, I see us being in a house, uh, probably having a minimum of two dogs, hopefully zero cats, but that's probably not an option. What I like about Emily, though, be the same. Uh, I will always love her. I'll still love her. I'll see that she's going to be just as hard working. Um, I think she's going to continue with her photography and I, I like that. It's something that makes her happy. It makes me happy. Um, I think she will be a great parent and uh, I guess I'm excited to see that happen. Um, in 10 years, I see us with at least two dogs and at least two cats. Um, definitely in our home. Um, and two kids sounds about right. I want to be done having kids by 10 years from now, so two kids sounds about right. And I think we'll both be in jobs that we really want to be in. That right now and I'm sure in 10 years I will still uh, love everything about Brandon even on the days where I don't like him all that much I still love him and I just only see him becoming smarter and growing and furthering his education and to be such a hard worker. Brandon is one of the hardest working people that I know he devotes himself to whatever it is that he needs to be doing. He is very selfless in the sense that he will drop whatever he's doing for his friends or his family and not expect anything in return. Um, he's a nerd, so I like that too, that we can have intelligent conversations. Um, and he's very spontaneous, so we are always laughing or goofing off or doing something just to keep it interesting. I want to thank everybody that is attending my wedding for, uh, first of all, showing up and uh, coming to congratulate us on one of our biggest days. Uh, thank the wedding party for doing an awesome job and being there for us and helping us with everything we needed for setup. I would say thank you and that doesn't even begin to cover how much we appreciate the fact that we have such a huge support system in our lives. Uh, I don't think we realized how blessed we were before we started this process and now we have definitely, it's definitely opened up our eyes to make us see just how, how much our family and our friends are there for us and our amazing wedding party, we would not be able to, this would not be coming together without them. So I would say we are blessed and very grateful. Just a final thought before the wedding day would, that I love you and uh, I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. My final thought before the wedding would be that I also love you and I know that husband and wife, we are going to start that next chapter together and I firmly believe it will be amazing. <laughs>